Welcome to the Mo Thugs Discography Collection Discussion. This is one of those videos for the collectors out there outlining all the Mo Thugs titles I found and for you to input any titles that were missing from this video. This will be thorough and voluminous, so stay tuned. It's probably going to be a, a long one. So let's get right into it with the things that we all agree upon. The first Mo Thugs album is Mo Thugs Family Scriptures came out in 1996. And that was followed by Mo Thugs Family Reunion came out in 1998. Mo Thugs 3 The Mothership came out in 2000. Mo Thugs 4 The Movement that came out in 2003. Those are the core four Mo Thugs albums that everybody agrees is part of the collection, exists, and is official. Lazy Bone and Mo Thug Records presents 100% Pure Thug Tour CD and DVD set came out in 2006 and I sometimes see this one being disputed but Wikipedia lists it as an official disc in the discography collection and that's followed by Mo Thug Soldiers released in 2007 which I also see this one sometimes debated as well but Wikipedia also acknowledges and recognizes Mo Thug Soldiers as an official part of the discography and then this year we have the best of Mo Thugs volume one and the Best of Mo Thugs Volume 2 that came out, I think, through LazyBoneGear.com. So that wraps up the official Mo Thugs. Now let's get into some of the solo albums. So we have Too True, A New Breed of Female. That one officially came out. And we have Poetic Hustlers, Trials and Tribulations. Now the third one that we have is Graveyard Shift, Still Waters. Now, Graveyard Shift was part of that core Motha group, but the official release never really came out other than the Romeo Antonio version. And there's also like bootleg versions on the internet. So Graveyard Shift still waters. And then we have Gold in a Race Against Time. And I don't think Gold was officially on Motha's, but later on, I think Gold was in the Desperados. So I think at this end, Gold was like the first artist to feature Motha's artist on his album. So I would say Gold in a Race Against Time is part of the collection. It's part of Mo Thugs. That's just my opinion. And then we have Big Sloan, Khakis and Chucks, Big Sloan, Raider Gang, and Big Sloan, Exacta Standards. Not sure if that one's a mixtape or an actual album. Okay, and Scant Bone, Four Seasons, Hustlin' is an all-year grind. And Scant Bone, Stack or Starve. Scant Bone, welcome to my world. All right, now everything from here on out is going to be debatable. So we'll start with Tay Smalls, Who Killed My Mama. Now this one was a Busy Bone Presents, so you would think Seven Sign, but when you look it up online, it shows Mo Thugs Records. Then we have MTW R&B Thugs. MTW is Mo Thugs West. So the Mo Thugs West R&B Thugs. Now we have Busy Bone and Lazy Bone present Mo Thug West the Mixtape. Q Locos on that. Then we have Lazy Bone presents Con Artist Entrapment Book One. And I think Thug Queen is on that album. Mo Thug West Greatest Hits Thick and Thin Sea Freedom Ain't Free Thin Sea Cut the Check. And then we have the Soldier Boy Mixtapes. So Soldier Boy, I Soldier Boy the Mixtape. Soldier Boy, Loose Ends, Soldier Boy, The Makeover 1, Soldier Boy, The Makeover Volume 2, Soldier Boy, Nature of the Beast. And if you're looking for them, it may be under Soldier Boy, Gemma, Tally Up Entertainment. Next we have Brina, Diamond in the Rough. Brina's from Too True. And I think she had another mixtape that I couldn't find. And then we have Jazz. The underground mixtape jazz is the other uh singer rapper from too true and then there was a ken dog mixtape i can't find the album for it but you can look it up ken dog the mixtape we got raw desperados tired of struggling i guess that's the desperados i don't know and then we have the romeo antonio albums which was romeo's gys still waters which we mentioned and then in 2000 swear not by the mood 
2001, Romeo's 245 Aggravated Assault Explicit, 2010, Romeo's Backroom Story, and in 2012, Romeo's Unique. And there's all the Lazy Bone solo albums. So 2001, you have Thug by Nature by Alberta, which I came out, it came out on Ruthless Records. Then you have The New Revolution in 2006. It's a Mo Thug Sickness release. And Cleveland in 2006. In 2007, you have Starting From Scratch, How a Thug Was Born. And in 2008, Thug's Nation. 2011, you have this like semi-double album. It's The Definition and The Meaning. And then we have some of these like albums you're like all right is this for real there's lazy bone mo thug boss lazy bone it's not a game the thug love album the law of attraction and i think i might make a lazy bone discography down the line so i'm just gonna leave it at there there's there's other lazy bone albums but we're just gonna gonna pause on the lazy bone just to point out that lazy bone discography would be included in all these mo thugs and while we're at lazy bone we might as well cover flesh bone Fleshbone, 1996, T-H-U-G-S, Trues, Humbly United Gathering Souls, Year 2000, Fifth Dog Let Loose, and 2011, Blaze of Glory, and then you have From Cleveland to Cali, and then From Cleveland to Cali 2, and there's even a Blaze of Glory EP, so that's your Fleshbone. Oh, and somehow I missed Lazy Bone and Big Sloan, Thug Twins. Also, there's a Thin C... Street Bombs Volume 1 and Street Bombs Volume 2. Now, we're going to get into some real questionable uh, items here. I don't know if these are really Mothug, but it's got the Mothug logo on it. So there's Gangsta Bangas 2. It says Mothug's Records Presents Gangsta Bangas 2. And there's a Mothug logo on it. And we got Mothug's Records Presents Reppin' My Rag. Moat Thug Records Greatest Hits. Down South Bangers Volume 2. I don't know where Part 1 is. Hood to Hood Volume 2. Now, I don't even know what this one is. Southern Sizerpin. Then we got Daz featuring Big Kaz, Royal Fam with the Moat Thugs Records logo on it. It says Low Riding. Highway Bangers Volume 1. Moat Thug Records. Big, I don't know. This is Blue Chucks. Mo Thug record logo on it. Tupac. Wonder why they call you bitch. Unreleased version with Faith, with Faith Evans. Mo Thug Records. The Game. Last of a Compton Breed. Mo Thug Records. Mo Thug Records presents Street Chronicles Volume 1. Mo Thug Records presents West Coast Finest. Catch a Fade Volume 2 Beef Series. Mo Thug Records. Real West Coast OGs. I don't see a logo on that one, but I see Big Kaz on it. And Lazy Bone. Uh, Trey the Truth. Something Houston. I Am Houston? Yeah, I Am Houston. Trey the Truth. Mo Thug Records. And Lazy Bone presents The Royal Family. Family Ties. Highway Bangers Volume 1. Mo Thug Records. Big Kaz Greatest Mo Thug Bangers. Well connected, I guess, because flesh bones on that. I don't know. Lazy Bone of Bone Thugs and Harmony presents D Radio Studies Game Sold Not Told. Mo Thugs Family Capital West Coast Bangers Volume Two Ying Yang Twins Gumbo <laughs> on Mo Thug Records. All right, let's see if we covered everybody. Wikipedia lists the Mo Thug artists as Crazy Wish Lazy Flesh Busy. Romeo Antonio, Boogie Nike, we covered Boogie Nike, Tony Tone, and Mo Hart from Poetic Hustlers, but there is a Poetic Hustlers mixtape out there. I don't have a cover for it. Uh, then we have Blaine, Jazz, Sin, Tombstone, Gates. So all that is uh, Too True and Graveyard Shift. Little Boo, Ken Dog. We covered the Ken Dog mixtape. Soldier Boy, Dat Boy Hood, Mickey Ray Sinatra, Bino, Trey, Lil Mac, Felicia, Scant, Thug Queen, Powder P, got to go back to that one, Potion, MT5, DJ Ice, Immortal Thugs, Desperados, 
Jeremy J Bone, Black Hole of Watts, Seldom Seen, Freaky G, Thin C, Big Sloan, Scales, and Dirty Red. I I noticed I didn't see Aftermath and Kaz on there, and Aftermath is mentioned on Thug Devotion. All right, so somehow I forgot Powder P back from the grave. And I remember back a couple years ago when I was looking all this up, there was another Powder P solo album. Wasn't much to write home about, but I'm pretty sure there was another Powder P album besides Back From The Grave. And that takes us to Bruce Hathcock and DJ Unique. I don't know if they count as Mo Thugs. They were kind of like Bone Thug Records. So this is really neat old site on OOCities.org. Reminds me of GeoCities. I don't know if you remember that, but these were like those free websites back in the day. It's amazing this is still online. Hazy Bone. So he collected some of this stuff here, and I guess this site was at least updated as of 2006. Let's see if we covered all this. Yep, so far. Uh-oh. The Land of the Scandalous, Thieveland. The Day of Reckoning, Poetic Hustlers. So that, the Day of Reckoning. I guess that's that Poetic Hustlers solo album I was referencing earlier. Let's see what we got on here. The Day of Reckoning. So you got Run, Recognize, Fired Up, Bonnie and Clyde, Skit, Respect, My Boo, Break You Off, The Best, Second Round, Big Bam, Boo. And I think there also was another, like a Poetic Hustlers mixtape just called Poetic Hustlers. Uh, and it says here, Boogie Night went out on their own to start Bottom Up Records, The Day of Reckoning. So that's a little piece of history right there. Then DJ Ice, Everything and Then Some Mo. Got the Kaz in there, Tired of Struggling, heard about that. Diamond in the Rough, Going Head Up. California's Most Wanted by Bam. Exclusive Underground by Ken Dog. Get Entrepreneur Double R. And now here's that Poetic Hustlers mixtape I was talking about. Let's see what we got here. I think some of the songs were from uh, Trials and Tribulations. It's amazing this site's still there. So yeah, Fired Up, Bounce With Me, w- w- Wooed Out. Oh yeah, Wooed Out. I, I think there's like a... That's on YouTube. Don't Trust a Bitch, Weekend Buzz, Bonnie and Clyde, Dealt With, Respect, Parlay with a Hustler, that's on the album, Day and Night, Time Will Reveal. So yeah, that's some Poetic Hustlers history there. Now we got these that we covered, now DJ Ice, Thug Style Volume 1, DJ Ice, East 1999 Style, East 99 Style Mixtape, then The Seven Sign, which I guess that'll be another video. Scamp Bone, Little Thugs in Harmony, Kill a Clump, Get In, Get Out, Mixtape. So yeah, I don't know where, these are Seven Sign and Thug Line, The Life, Devlin Soldiers, East 99 Style Volume 2 Mixtape, DJ Ice, so DJ Ice, is he Bone Thug Records or Mo Thug Records? Henchman, Last Chapter, that's Seven Sign. Jazz Underground Mixtape, we know that. Oh, here's one. Dysfunctional Functional Family, LDT. Oh, Thug Soldiers, Thugging Without a Cause, Kaz. Oh, here we go. Immortal Thugs, Individuality. And they have a MySpace page, and it does reference individuality up here. So there's... Immortal Thugs had an album. Uh, the Dispensation, Eargasm. Here I Come with a Vengeance, Felicia. Cleveland Bully, Studies of Immortal Thugs, Cleveland Thugster, Little Chico. Live and Let Die, Key Local and Busy Bone, With or Without You, Baby Phil. Day Two from Cleveland and Cali. Straight What's Happening. <laughs> Straight What's Happening. Mixtape Little Chico into Alley, Keep G. So it looks like we get Bone Thug Records. This site's officially closed after a misunderstanding between Bone and Unique over the Lost Files and newly formed Thug Nation Radio upcoming projects. Okay. 
So then the, here's the DJ Unique Collection, Ghetto Street Pharmacist, Ghetto Street Pharmacist Reissue, Ghetto Radio 2000, Ghetto Radio 2002, Bone Thug Records Sampler 2004. And I think he had like those instrumental albums. We see Bruce Hathcock here, Unique. All right, so Bruce Hathcock, It's Your World, DJ Unique, The Bone Instrumentals, DJ Unique and Leatherface, Bone Thug Affiliates, The Underground Mixtape Showcase, DJ Unique, Ghetto Street Thugs, Keith G to Bum, but I think that's, is that the life, Thug Line? Yeah, some of that's the Thug Line. Little Chico, a.k.a. Cheek the Freak, uncut version, Cleveland Thugster, Bruce Hathcock, can't read what that says. Explicit, Bruce Hathcock, Miracle Mile, Bruce Hathcock, Unique's Bone Instrumentals 2. Oh, look at this. Canceled and delayed projects include Ken Dog, Enjoy the Ride, Came On and Keep G, Lord Have Mercy, Thug Line, The 818 Mixtape from eight, from Unique, The Crazy Bone Dummy Man Movie, Dummy Man Movie, Ghetto Cowboy the Movie, and the Mo Thugs Movie Ballin'. Lazy Bone Presents Volume 1 and 2 on High Power Entertainment. Mo Thugs Family, The Takeover on Koch Records, 2007. Wow. So yeah, hopefully that's a little bit of a news. I'm sorry I didn't go through Halfcock. I just don't know where he fits in on the thing, so I just wanted to make sure he got represented. And same with Unique, because this is the Mo Thugs discography. I don't even know the name of this album. It's, it's somebody with Lazy Bone Presents We Working. And then there's also the Mo Thugs South and all of the other chapters of Mo Thugs. For Mo Thugs South, you have Bino the Great. He's got albums. I'm not sure how his discography works. Uh, no shorts or no losses. And it, we're in like the digital era now, so albums don't really happen. Looks like this guy named Big Took is on Mo Thugs South. Streets is watching Volume 1. Then you got the chapter Mo Thug Berlin. And we also have Mo Thug Philippines chapter. And then uh, we also have Mo Thugs Detroit. I don't know if they came out with any albums. But those are all the different chapters, and there's a Mo Thug West, and there's a couple other Mo Thugs chapters, but I think these are the big ones. If your Mo Thug chapter wasn't represented, I apologize. Uh, drop, represent your Mo Thug chapter in the comments below, though. Feel free. Hmm. Big Kaz. The Big Kaz unofficial discography. So in 1999, on Glasshouse Records doing things it's kind of like an ep and then after that you have the infamous thunderdome on warlock records then in 2002 we have going head up i think there was a couple of versions of that cover and then in 2006 so there's like a four-year hiatus that's strange to me i wonder if there's any 2003 2004 or 2005 big has albums but in 2006, we have the Undisputed Neighborhood King on Mo Thugs Records. And then we have Thuggin' Without a Cause in 2009, also on Mo Thugs Records. Then we have Thuggin' Without a Cause number two in 2010 on 101 Distribution. Then the Glass Soundtrack number one in 2010 on 101 Distribution. We have Glass Soundtrack number two in 2010, also on 101 Distribution. And then History. And what's funny about this, his history, his story, is that there's two versions that I found of the album cover. And one of them, he has long hair, and the other, he has short hair. And then 2011, Turf Bangers Volume 1. In 2011, we have the Tupac Duets. And these are on 101 Distribution. Thuggin' to the Grave. In 2011, Hood Boss's New Generation, 2011, and all those were on 101 Distribution. But now, Turf Bangers Volume 2 is in 2011, but on Mo Thugs Records, and the rest of these are on Mo Thugs Records. So 2011, we have I'm Just a Man, and man, he, he put out a lot of albums in 2011. One, two, three, four, five, six albums in 2011. Some of these may be re-releases, I don't know. I really have no idea. I'm just doing the research on it and presenting it. 2012, I'm assuming Thunderdome 2012 Collector's Edition came out. I don't know if there's any difference between Thunderdome 2012 and Thunderdome from the year 2000. But there it is, Thunderdome 2012 Collector's Edition. In 2013, Turf Bangers 3. 
Also in 2013, we have Pounding Volume 1. And then in 2015, Pounding 2, Biker Life. And then in 2016, Head Naka. 2017, I Am. And in 2017, Do You Still Care? Now those are, I guess, the LP albums. Although a few of those are compilations, like Pounding Volume 1. And a few others. Uh, quite the collection, I'll say. That's, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 albums. But we're not done. Fig Caz must work around the clock. When do you see the rest of these albums that he's got some kind of affiliation with? We'll just go through them. He may not even be on them, but his name's on them in some form or fashion. All right, so we have Big Kaz Presents Originals locked up. There's a Mo Thugs record logo on it. And then there's some singles like Big Kaz, I Can't Stop featuring Slash from Guns N' Roses. Imagine that. Slash and Big Kaz. And then we have Demiza, Big Kaz, and Shade Scheist. Actually, it's Demiza Presents Have a Nice Day. Mo Thug record logo on it. Big Kaz presents Yuck Mouth, What's the Difference? Yuck Mouth is from the Loonies. Mo Thug Records in the top. I don't know if this one said Big Kaz presents. Somebody presents Crazy Bone, True Thug Never Dies, He Just Makes History. And we have Big Kaz presents Gangsta Bangas number one, featuring the smash single Dickies. Mo Thug Records logo on it. And then this is, I guess, a single Puff That Green, Baby Bash, Frankie J, Big Kaz, and Seven. And and on it, there's a Mo Thug Records logo. Then we have the single Bob Marley featuring Big Kaz, Had to Part, with the Mo Thug's logo on it. Oh, and I guess I left out uh, Kaz. He wasn't going by Big Kaz here, just Kaz. Hood Hits 2004. I think this one is called Big Kaz Presents Mo Thug's Family Scriptures Volume 2. I don't know if this is a maxi single, but it's Big Kaz, Rain On Me, Max B. I guess it's featuring Max B. I'm not sure what this one is, but it's Pull Up. With Big Kaz, Fontaine, and S1 with the Mo Thugs logo in the top right. Big Kaz, banging new single, Fly the Coop, featuring Bone Thugs and Harmony. And I don't know if this is a flyer or an album or a promo, but it says Mo Thug Records presents Big Kaz, His Story, Big Kaz, Greatest Mo Thug Bangers. And then there's a single, Baby Come Back, Big Kaz, Lazy Bone, Tupac, and Thin C. Mo Thug's Big Kaz presents Mo Thug Boss Big Kaz Mo Thug Records Thuggin' Worldwide Scriptures number one. Thuggin' Worldwide Scriptures number one. MySpace, back in the MySpace days. So I'm wondering if this is one of those albums that might have came out in that period of time, you know, that 2003 to 2005 period where nothing came out. Possibly, quite possibly. So now this one, there's like two versions of this one. It's a 100% Pure Thug Tour, right? Lazy Bone and Mo Thug Records presents, but this one has Kaz all in the front. And then there's another version that's Mo Thug's 100% Pure Thug Tour. You know, I don't know. I don't know the difference. I didn't have either. Then, interestingly enough, I didn't know about this until I did the research. And this is kind of neat. There's a there's an album. It's called A Chronic Tribute to Dr. Dre, and it's a bunch of famous rappers doing like cover songs of famous Dr. Dre songs. And Big Kaz and Lazy Bone remade Deep Cover One Eight Seven on the Undercover Cop. Pretty neat to hear them do it. Kaz does pretty good as Dre and Lazy Bone as Snoop. I can't believe this one slipped past me all these years, but really cool to check out. And then Big Kaz has this gigantic poster that has all kinds of other albums on it and I'm assuming these are albums that he's featured at least on a single on so starting in the top left Lazy Bone presents Turf Bangers volume 3 so I think I had that one listed earlier with a different album cover oh okay so I'm guessing Kaz is on this that's what it was Crazy Bone True Thug Never Dies just makes history the Bone Thugs in Harmony Bone Thugs for Life live album there's the rain on me tupac the lost tape documentary wow okay he's on that and 
touched on those. Bone Brothers, Bone Bros, Rise of the Bone Greatest Hits. Wow, I've never heard of that one. I guess Kaz is on that. Thunderdome, Turf Bangers, uh, Shade Scheist, Turf Bangers. And this is, it's a Spice One Presents Turf Bangers, Volume 2, or Turf Bangers 2. But there's a Turf Bangers 1 and a 3. And what's interesting about this album is that it's on Mothugs. Or at least it says Mothug Records on it, even when you go to Amazon. Bone Bros, Rise of the Bone, Greatest Hits. So there's Bone Brothers, Bone Bros, Bona Five, Bona Fide, Bone Thugs. Wow. Oh, Bone Box, Thugs for Life. I guess Kaz is on that too. Hood Hits 2004. Royal Family, Family Ties. Rise of the Bone. 100% Pure Thug Tour CD and DVD. Tupac. Okay, we covered some of these already. Hood Stars Mixtape. Lazy Bone. Mo Thugs. Big Kaz. Ready to... Ready to hop out? What is that? How did I miss this one? West Coast Players. There's the chronic tribute to Dre. The Mizza, Where I Wanna Be. I, the Mizza's got an album. The Mizza Presents. Okay. West Side Nation, West Side Connection, Gangsta Nation Live. How's, I guess Kaz is on the DVD maybe? Bay to LA, West Side Bad Boys number two. I wonder if this is connected to the uh, Master P West Coast Bad Boys. West Side Bay. Monster Hip Hop. The album DVD coming soon. Okay, Demiza, DP2, No More Waiting, No More Hating. The album DVD coming soon. Wow. The Miz, uh, Guilty by Association. I guess this is a book. I think I saw Kaz in an interview saying that he was in a book. Turf Bangers 1, Michelob, Street Scan, the album. Crazy Bone, Thug Line Boss, Big Kaz, something. That's a lot. This guy's got so many albums. Thug Into the Grave, Bob Marley, the Reggaeton Mixes. Young Gotti, In the Mix, Big Kaz. Oh, there's even more. Man, it keeps coming. The Game, Last of a Compton Breed, Catch a Fade, Volume Number 1, Beef Series. Mo Look at all these Mothug Record logos. East Coast Bangers, Volume 1. There's even more. Holy cow. West Coast Bangers Volume 1, Down South Bangers Volume 1, Freeway to Philly, Slim Duncan, Thug in the Sky, Mo Thug Records, look at these logos, Boys of R&B Volume 1, or Bad Boys of R&B Volume 1. All right, I think that covers. Man, that is a how many album, how many titles are on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It gets confusing. There's a lot there. Wow. So there you have it. That's the Big Kaz collection. I don't even know how I'm gonna file some of these. I didn't realize how many were on this that I didn't have listed in my database. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to classify. This is how hard it is to. Do the complete collection of Bone and Mo Thugs and all that. I mean, I know a lot of people were like, Big Kaz doesn't count, but I mean, if he could put that Mo Thugs records right here on his name and slap that on all these albums, look, it's not just one, it's so many. I say he counts. You may say he doesn't count. I don't know if Cecil thinks he counts, but I mean, look at all these albums. Okay, I'll ask you this. Let's say you were doing a Young Gotti, a Young Gotti discography. Is that his name? Or maybe it's Yo Gotti. You got this Mo Thugs Records logo on it. And you and you say, okay, what record label did this album come out on? Well, it came out on Mo Thugs Records. All right. So I, it's confusing. I'm not trying to push for this. I'm just saying... If you're collecting, if you're going to disco, discogs, disco G's, or you're 
trying to figure out this collection or you're trying to do a database like I'm doing. I, I mean, I'm not saying I even know what to do. I don't know. Do I count this royal family because Kaz is on a single? <laughs> do I count all these different versions of the 100% Tour Thug CD? 100% Thug Tour CD? DVD? What about these multiple versions of the album covers for the Kaz albums? Like the hit, his story and... I don't know what counts, man. I don't know what counts. Because does Thunderdome count? Because at least Thunderdome was like a big thing. Look at this. Mo Thugs Records presents Kaz, the Undisputed Neighborhood King. How does that not count? I mean, I know many say it doesn't count, and I get it. But how? Look, Mo Thugs presents. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting this video out because I want to know what everybody thinks. How are you guys classifying your collections? If you're trying to do the full collection of everything, are you collecting all of these? Because this is this is such an impossible task. You got, I mean, does this Kaz doing things count? I mean, I guess Thunderdome does, maybe. Going head up. Undisputed. Mo Thugs present. Is this when Kaz got on with Mo Thugs? Actually, let's check the database. So his first Mo Thugs records was Undisputed Neighborhood King. So maybe doing things Thunderdome and going head up don't count, but Glass House Records, it actually okay. The Glass soundtrack is one on one distribution. Ah, uh, it's this is so hard to know. But there you go. Kaz, the, oh, and <laughs> if I forgot any Kaz albums. Drop links or drop drop the titles in in the descri in the messages in the comments below, and you tell me which albums of Kaz count. Do any count? Do all of them count? Do some of them count? Do any don't count? Anyway, thanks for watching Beyond the Harmony.